good a very good evening to all of you so now let us look at this hardware setup uh, as you can see uh, this is the controller which i was talking about uh, this is the main you know like stm32 cortex m0 microcontroller and uh, it is not just a microcontroller it's a basically a development board and uh, in this development board it comes with you know a programmer it has an inbuilt programmer you don't need an external device to program it you just need to connect this usb and uh, it has one reset switch over here and uh, there is a crystal over here which helps it controller to run at a frequency like up to 50 megahertz by multiplier which I will be telling you in the later tutorials and uh, mm, there are sets of pins I they have 48 pins in this microcontroller and uh, in this hardware setup like as always the first program will be always be to blink an LED right so for this here we have just created a line of 3 volts this controller supports 3 volts what it means to support 3 volts is that uh, when you give a high to certain pin then it will get an output of 3 volts but you can power this chip using a 5 volt also ok so here is the point for 3 volt and here is you know for the 5 volts so for this bed board uh, this particular line uh, this line uh, I have used for uh, 3 volt this one for ground and again this one for ground uh, this one for ground and uh, this one for 5 volts ok now that we have understood so for this demonstration we have connected an LED to port C pin number 8 PC8 and uh, as you know that the anode is connected to the PC8 and the cathode is connected to the ground to a wire 330 ohm resistor so now you just have to you know plug it in your USB via laptop and uh, We'll see the output in the next tutorial. Thank you. Well, a very good evening to all of you. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, we will be discussing on you know, like first uh, example. Like to, we will try to burn the first already like code given by the Cocox and try to just burn it into the microcontroller and see what the output we are getting. In the previous tutorial, we have already uh, already discuss about the controller which we'll be using and already set up the LED so in this you have you have to click on this GPIO and you will be seeing something like there are like various examples there uh, click on this example LED blinking and then click on this view button here okay and after this button you will be seeing something again this main dot C well uh, this main source tree is not the part of your program it is the example given by the cocox and this is the code you can be which, which will be all which you will be dumping into the controller okay so this main if you look at the, this program what it does is uh, it, it's given that it will blink leds connected to the port pin pc8 and port c9 of the stm32 so we have already connected the led so this uh, this is the program and this is the main part and here are the all the necessary libraries which require for this project you don't need to understand what everything is doing because we will be creating our own code from the scratch but for now just you know just have an idea like what this actual example daily is that it will you know just create a structure initialize the clock and then uh, then make the pin 8 and pin 9 as output and uh, 
then you know turn on the LED or have some delay and again turn off the LED turn off the LED using reset and have some delay so basically it will just blink the LED for some time for random amount of delay and again turn off the LED again again for the random amount of delay okay so you just go ahead and copy the entire code select all and then click on copy and then in the main again select all for pressing control A and then delete everything whatever previously written over here and paste the code like whatever the code we have selected over here we have already copied the code just paste it over here that's it and paste okay and try to compile it using this you can press F7 or press this build button over here and when you compile check for the errors yeah build is successful there are there is no error so you try to burn this using download code to fetch but if I will do it will burn but uh, for you guys it might not work for the very first time this is because this cocox also requires one GCC application to actually burn the code what the GCC application really is is it helps this cocox to actually communicate with their STM32 device so for that uh, I, will, I will given this uh, this GCC application will be looking something like this okay you have to just go ahead and you know uh, install this GCC application and uh, please note the part where you have installed this application because this part will be very necessary because whenever you when you install this application and after installing the application when you see when you just press on this then it will be expecting some path you have to browse that particular path in the particular folder and press ok after that you can easily dump the code so you know uh, yeah so i have already connected my controller over the usb and I will, if i press this button called download code to flash and yeah it says done 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 and with actually blinking the led as shown in the video so i hope it's uh, I know that you don't know what the code actually is and what every line does mean because you d for now you don't need to know anything for now you just need to check that okay f till now we have already we have established or we have created a necessary setup which will be required for this series if you are able to you know successfully bring the LED using the already existing example then we are all good to go to the very next tutorial from the next tutorial onwards uh, we will be creating our code from the scratch okay so thank you now as you can see that uh, this code is working perfectly fine as we expected the pin at gpio pin 8 which is also this blue color LED and LED at pin PC9 both are blinking so this code works perfectly fine in the next tutorial I will be you know just showing you how to make this code in, and use this code in a way that we can use in our projects so thank you and uh, as always follow this follow the blog in the description below and uh, you know like us on facebook follow this youtube channel so that you can get all the updates and uh, please post any comments you have thank you